Hello, sec people. Welcome to another episode of MDKD's Writings. Okay, today I'm going to play Mushroom Valley by Skikim22. I'm also going to play Super Mario 3D Land World 4 and uh, 3 by No7. And I'm also going to play the simple cardboard platformer. I I don't really have the name, but I'm I'm going to show it on the screen. So, yeah. We're going to talk about the levels in depth later on, but now let's take a look at the gameplay footage. Alright, so now we're playing Mushroom Valley. Alright. Okay, there is some deadly material there. Okay, a bridge over here. Alright. Cool effect here. Alright, I think they're going to be a little shaky here. Also, interesting design over here. Okay, let's get the cube here. Some interesting looking mushrooms here. Ah, I see what she did here. Oh no, <laughs> I died. Alright, this is kind of acceptable here. All oh, right. Huh. I don't really trust these spikes back there. All right. Looks like we pretty much made it in well, a little bit more than a minute. All right. Now we're playing Super Mario 3D World, World 4, Chapter 3, I guess, by No7. All right. Pretty empty, actually. But yeah, the 3D mechanic is working. As it should. Alright, now this looks a little bit complicated, but I guess... With the right timing, we are... We can nail this jump, I guess? Great, we nailed it, but there's not really a checkpoint. Why is there no checkpoint? Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna fail again. I can already feel it. Ooh, checkpoint. Great. There are less checkpoints, really. More are needed, in my opinion. Alright. <laughs> Alright, very limited. I hope I can still do it. Yeah, and we made it. Oh my goodness, what is this? Maybe this is like from the Super Mario games. Right. But yeah, it's it alright, I died. <laughs> Come on, don't put me all the way back here. Checkpoints are pretty important. I died again. Alright. I still have one life, so I hope I don't mess this up. They should really place some more... Um, they should really place down a checkpoint that has more lives. Doesn't even need to be a infinite life checkpoint. Hey, we made it. Great. Well, that's it. No outro? Well, okay. We are going to review this in the set. Now we're going to play the simple cardboard platformer by 3C233. Can you collect all three of these? Alright, simple design, but looks neat. I have seen this one. What? Checkpoints, they do matter. Definitely. Nice animations here on these balls. Alrighty, then it's the second one, I guess. Alright. Climb the walls. Alright, there is an invisible wall, with, and that is kind of weird, actually. Alright. 
Okay, now we're going to move forward, and I hope I can still nail it here. Because I feel like I'm not going to nail it. Climb the walls, climb the walls. Ah, oh, we made it. Great. Now let's get through this place here. These are all the same circle button. Only one will activate the door. What's happening here? It's not... Something is happening with the gas, right? Right? Alright, we made it. Oh, this is the end of the level. <laughs> Waffle King 23 is first here. Definitely not the shortest level I ever played, but still. Pretty solid. We're going to talk about this level in depth soon. Now we're back in the studio. And now we're going to talk about the levels in detail. So first of all, we got Mushroom Valley by Skikim22. So when it comes to the gameplay, it was fun, didn't really have any flaws, it was pretty good. When it comes to the cameras, music and level design, there were a few cameras here and there and they definitely helped, but most of the spots actually, they didn't really have a camera and how I already say, how I already said it, excuse me, a camera can help. There was music and it was pretty decent. The level design was also okay, actually was good. And so I'm going to rate this level good, as a good level. All right. And now let's come to Super Mario 3D Land World 4 3 by No7. So the gameplay, it was okay. It carried the player from point A to point B, but it wasn't particularly good. And the gameplay often felt a little bit like just walk across the platforms and just like, right, just jump on top on the cubes and stuff. And there was also a enemy. And I don't know, like it, it could have been a little bit better actually, but it wasn't too bad. When it comes to the cameras, music and level design. So there was a camera of course, because one thing I forgot to note, this is a level that has 3D movement. So right now here in the studio, it's a normal LBP movement, but the 3D movement basically works uh, that way that you just walk into a direction and Sackboy is going to turn into that direction. And changing the layer actually works smooth and without any steps here. And also one thing I forgot I forgot to note here is that it can really just um, it can definitely bring the gameplay down a little bit because let's just say you're jumping from point A to point B, you could just be behind the all right, um, you could be behind the layer just a little bit and boom you're falling to your death didn't really happen to me very often or at all but it can be a risk to put it into your level but it was pretty fine there was music i would have used a, a piece of music that would be a little bit quieter but it was fine also the level design maybe this is just my own opinion but the level design, like, you had the platforms and stuff, but I don't know, they were kind of just platforms. It wasn't a real environment. And maybe it didn't even, or maybe No7 didn't even try to make an environment, just a few platforms here and there. And I think it can be fine, just something that I would note here. So I would rate this level as a solid level. And now, let's come to the last level, the simple cardboard platformer by Frizzy233. I know Waffle King already talked about this level in his show, but I thought to myself, well, just another perspective can really improve the whole thing. So when it comes to the gameplay, it was fine, it wasn't bad, but also not super good. 
you definitely had something to do in the level and there were also a few challenges here and there but there was this part where you had to jump on these cubes and a few of these cubes they didn't really have any physics at all you could just fall through them and there wasn't really a message or something or like a small tutorial that told the player hey there can be cubes that don't really have any physics at all and you can fall through them the player didn't know it and i figured i figured that out by dying right and also i was set back to the beginning checkpoints ladies and gentlemen they do matter all right so the level did have cameras at the important parts and it definitely helped so good work here there was also some music and it was pretty fine when it comes to the level design it was definitely on the better end it was actually pretty neat it actually had some stars in the cardboard so it wasn't just a plain cardboard level <laughs> like my own cardboard race level so i would rate this level as good level and well i guess that's pretty much it with today's episode so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this episode maybe you also learned something here and well with this i'm going to say goodbye and thanks for watching